1170, The Answer. Welcome back. Welcome back. You are listening to Whistle Wednesdays here on AM 1170, The Answer. My name is Kyle Whistle, your host with Whistle Realty. Joined, as always, by the self-proclaimed Chargers homer, Mr. Jason Hall with Team Home Loans. Give me yourself a drum roll there, sir. Yes, thank you. That must be nice when you run the soundboard that you can give yourself a drum roll. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's the one time I get a drum roll, so why not? <laughs> right. Take advantage of it, in right? In studio Wednesday nights. I love it. Also in studio, got Brandy Pike with the Whistle Realty team. And before the break, we teased you guys. We got David Hyman with Computer Troubleshooters out of Del Mar. So, Dave, we just moved in to a new office in Santee. Congratulations. Brand new building <laughs> built from the ground up, so not even taking over an old space. Brand new. So when somebody's you know business is looking to move into you know a new office space especially a real estate office like ours a lot of technology a lot of computers and stuff involved what would be some advice you would give somebody i probably should have met you about a month or two ago <laughs> yeah, before we, yeah. or, we did all this so now i can find out where i made all the mistakes but if you were helping a you know real estate office a mortgage office like jason's move into a new space what would be some advice you would give especially with a brand new building and a build out I would pre-wire the building. Even okay. if you didn't want to use Ethernet, I'd pre-wire it so it was there and available if you needed it. Okay. Um, that'd be one thing. The other the other nice thing about pre-wiring is if you want to go wireless and you want to put in access points throughout the building, you've got the Ethernet backbone to create those access points. Okay. What are speeds like now? I mean, I've been, you know, in the internet game since you had the dial-up modems at 14.4 kilobytes a second. I mean, what are you hear all this stuff and see all these commercials from Cox and Spectrum who's taken over Time Warner. What are speeds like now? Just simply amazing. I was at a customer's house recently that had some very high speed. They were over 148. Wow. At, so what does that home? mean? I don't understand yeah. what that means. I know at Brandy doesn't right. know. Well, I'm sure so there's listeners let, let out there. Let me put this in a perspective. When I was, um, well, we won't use the age word, but when I was toying with computers um, back in the middle school days, 14.4 kilobytes a second. Now you're running 148 megabytes a second, which mathematically, Jason, is at a thousand times faster? No, it's like 10,000. Yes. 10,000 times like 10, faster. It's a thousand times so, the 10 spread. From where we were... In middle school days, so about 20 years ago to now, we've literally gotten 10,000 times faster internet speeds. We're thinking it's 100,000 now. That's what's crazy. 100,000. Yeah. Yeah. It's just ridiculous. Because it's like 10,000 times the 10 difference between your 14 to the 148. That's amazing. That's right. Yeah. yeah. Because it's 1,000 plus. Yeah. That's pretty wild. Yeah. Yeah. It's really changed technology, which is still amazing that even, you know, Dave mentioned having, you know, pre-wired to be safe. Um, but it, when are we going to see where we normally don't need the wires? Or do you think we're always going to need the wire because the speed goes so fast? I tell you when you need wires, when you want to print. Yeah, <laughs> right. <laughs> <big files. laughs> when you want to print all your... All he's, your he's, he's talking about you should so, pre-wire ops because we didn't. We chose to go 100% wireless. So but we're finding out there's a little bit of a limitation with a wireless office. And, and it's it comes printing, to printing large files. So that's, well, that's well, but your bottleneck there, I think, could be your router. Right. And, and it, replacing the router could solve that bottle. Yeah, and you guys were talking about that during the breaks here. And, and so you guys are definitely heading the right direction to get it done. But I know Dave came in and, and pre-wired ours. He, yeah. li- you know, we literally made sure there was wires so that we'd be okay. Yeah. Well, you're old school, Jason. I mean, yeah, I got cubicles. Still using, I know. I know. Yeah, I got cubicles. Got, he, he's got a high speed wireless network in his office as well. Yeah. I mean, yeah. you're still using Commodores. Yeah. We, we got Commodore and Atari and, you know, everything in there. You have those <laughs> monitors that have like an air conditioner attached to the back of them. I mean, you're- I don't want to go AC right now. My, my office is freezing. I don't know what it is. These young people, they like it like 32 degrees and the boss has to pay the check, I guess. You got to love that, right? Yeah. We actually are getting an alarm system put into our new office where it'll automatically turn the air conditioners off at a set time of day. Okay. Whether like somebody that. remembers to or not, they automatically go off. So you never have to worry about somebody leaving it on overnight. I like that. So what other little nifty tips do you have for us, Dave, when it comes to computers? Well, well with that alarm system, is it a smart enough alarm system to know if somebody's still in the office? Yes, because there there's cameras and everything set up on it. And it, it basically triggers to where when somebody sets the alarm, it automatically shuts the ACs off or it shuts off at a set time, regardless if somebody leaves the office or not. You'll be getting a call. The alarm Can will be going off with somebody that? in there. <laughs> yeah, so you already got Brandy wanting to figure this thing out. There's going to be somebody. 
Well, hey, make sure we make an announcement to your whole staff that you have cameras in the office, Kyle. <laughs> oh. Or maybe we don't yeah. make an announcement, <laughs> and then it'll be more fun. Yeah. Unfortunately, this is radio, and we can't show all the clips, but we can't maybe show the on clips. the TV show, we can show some fun. Yeah, on American Dream, we could show uh, Craig, Sony, and the crew some fun you know, clips from the Whistle team of not knowing you're being taped. And I think it would be great on your Tuesday afternoon meeting to show, <laughs> hey, just so you guys know, we've, you know, we had Brian put together some video clips over the last month of what we've seen here at the new office. And, and those will be posted to YouTube and Facebook. Oh, that. absolutely. It might be a paid paid posting, though. <laughs> Password protected, for sure. I love it. So what else is new? I mean, everybody right now, it's the holidays. They're buying computers for their loved ones, you know, friends, family, all that stuff. What are some of the features when somebody you know, purchasing a computer so, that they should be so looking for. So, great point about people purchasing stuff right now. Be very aware of what apps you're downloading to your smartphone. There's a lot of um, hacker apps mm-hmm. out there right now. A lot of phony apps just trying to get your information and send it to other places. Yeah, they do that for money, yeah. right? They're able to, s- they, you know, they send a password, a social security number, a birth date, and then somewhere they're probably putting this all together so they can kind of hack you. Right. Um, I mean, we recently got hacked on one of our one of our credit cards. We don't even really use the card, and so once it got used, even for like four bucks, we got a call. And they said, "Hey, are you over here buying Mexican food in Lemon Grove?" I go, "Well, we only live a few minutes away from Lemon Grove, living in La Mesa, but no." And I'm holding the card, so someone was able to print the card, have all the the data on there, and uh, use it. And apparently, they got two hundred bucks at Walmart too. So. Yep. I just yep. went through that too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So it's amazing what's happening. So be yeah. very careful what apps you install on your smartphone, even on your computer or tablet. Yeah. Yeah. So do you handle troubleshooting on phones as well if somebody does download a bad app? Absolutely. Absolutely. That's why the byline is technology solved. Okay. Mm-hmm. We do computers, we do tablets, phones, networks, printers. <laughs> So what are some of the bigger issues you're seeing out there? The, you know, what's the most common stuff you troubleshoot? What would be like your top three be? The most common is virus infections. You know, somebody opens, goes to a website that they shouldn't have gone to, and they get infected. Okay. Um, that's so, the most common. Or they open an email that they shouldn't have opened. And they you know, click they're, the link. They're a long-lost aunt that's in jail and yeah. needs money. And <laughs> So there's always this debate of PC versus Mac and You know, the Mac proponents always say that they don't ever get viruses and all of that stuff. Is there truth to that, or are they both just as susceptible to viruses? There's a grain of truth to it. Um, The Mac world is a smaller world. The PC world is a huge target. The Mac world is a smaller target. It's more difficult to infect a Mac because anytime you you install something, it says, do you really want to install this? Are you sure you want to install this? Are you positive? So it asks you two or three times before you install something. So it's more difficult to infect, and they are susceptible. A couple of years ago, a, lo- a whole bunch of Macs got infected because somebody found a way around that. Okay. Um, so they're they're both susceptible. Just Mac, a little bit less likely. Uh, it's less likely. It's a little bit safer. Um, okay. Yeah, and I'm, I've been doing this long enough that I still have the mindset that Macs are for creative work and PCs are for business. Okay. Even though technically that's no longer true, you can do creative on either one and you can do business on either one, I still have, have that old school mindset. Well, what, do you have a preference on either one? What do you no, I like use? them both. I, like carry, them both? I carry them both. <laughs> you carry them both, you work with them both, yep. you, you work on them both, Yep. and so you use both. Yep. You got an iPhone or Android? iPhone. Okay. But you work, I know you've worked on Androids because you've worked yep. on mine. So. Yep. You've right. already screwed your phone up? Oh, man, I still need help from both of you guys figuring out my Android. <laughs> you need a lot yeah. more help than just figuring out your Android. Yeah. <laughs> you know. I love it again. Keep You're listening phones. to Whistle Wednesdays here on AM 1170, The Answer. We're talking with David Hyman with Computer Troubleshooters out of Del Mar. If you want to get connected with David, 619-663-CELL, 619-663-7355. We'll get you connected. So other than viruses, what are some of the other big things that you guys troubleshoot? We help um, customers set up new offices. Okay. We help them transition from old technology to newer technology. Okay. When, when, he, when he's ready to get rid of that Commodore, we'll get him set up on a Windows 10 machine. <laughs> What's Windows 10? Yeah. It's really hard. 
Yeah. True. I don't understand it. Yeah. Yeah, I struggle. Yep. Windows 10? Yeah. Windows 10 is great. Windows 8 was the nightmare. It wasn't bad. It Everything wasn't new bad. I struggle with. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so we help. We help with that kind of stuff. So that. I'm about Those to buy too. my 13-year-old, uh, oh, I shouldn't say, but something for Christmas as far as... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she just... Almost now that she's let, listening... Almost let the cat out of yeah. the bag there. <laughs> yeah. Shh. Hope she's not um, listening to the show, Mom. Well, let's put it this way. PC or Mac? For someone who's 13 and is just doing school stuff and not really, but, you know, of course, she's like, Mom, I got to have a Mac. Got to have a Mac. And the they're Ma- a lot the Mac- more costly. They're a lot more costly. I can I can sell you two or three laptops for one Mac. Um, and the Mac might be a better fit. Oh, really? Yep. Why wow. is that? Just, is it just easier to work on? Just the way that their brains work at, as a teenager. <laughs> The Mac might be a better fit, but don't they grow out of it quick, Dave? I mean, those are, that's my concern. Is you parent. haven't? Yeah, I know. <laughs> but I'm not a 13 year old girl. You didn't open right? that door, right? You know, I'm not a 13 year old girl, right? So you know, like next week they're gonna be like, "Oh, I'm bored of this." That that's my concern when you're paying two or three times more. Yeah, not likely to happen. Okay, okay, not, right. not likely to happen. I love it. Well, if you want to get connected with David and you want to learn more about what you need to look out for, whether you're buying new technology, setting up an office, having a problem with your existing technology, give us a call. Shoot us a text. We'll get you connected. 619-663-SELL. 619-663-7355. When we get back, we're going to talk with Brandy Pike with Whistle Realty. Get the latest on the real estate market. You're listening to Whistle Wednesdays on AM 1170. The Answer. AM 1170, The Answer.